The Legion Go stands out as my favorite handheld of 2023. Although it may not suit everyone, the combination of its large screen and the powerful Z1 Extreme won me over. And of course, the presence of a functional SD card slot is a welcomed bonus. In a gaming world where playing the latest AAA titles on the go is irresistible, the Switch, after seven years, is about ready to depart for console heaven. PC handhelds have attracted both PC and console gamers alike. While navigating one is a breeze for the average PC gamer, console gamers might find it similar to rocket science. So today I'm presenting you with my ultimate Windows guide. If you want a console-like experience on your Legion Go, this one is for you. If you do anything else but gaming on your Legion Go, then I would suggest you skip the part where we will replace the Windows shell with the launcher of choice. Let's get started with enabling integer scaling, but before that, a quick explanation. With integer scaling enabled, we will run our desktop and games at either 720p or 800p. This will then be upscaled to the Go's native resolution of 2160 by 1600. If you've been using FSR at lower settings, like balance or performance, you're probably familiar with the pixel artifacts it causes, especially around moving objects. But how do we enable integer scaling? Access MD settings, go to the gaming tab, select display, enable GPU scaling, choose full panel for scaling mode, and enable integer scaling. Set your resolution to 1280 by 800, and it'll automatically upscale to 2560 by 1600. If you encounter issues, make sure you have the latest graphic drivers installed. If the Adrenaline app is missing, you can download it from the Microsoft Store. You can get the latest drivers by opening Legion Go Space and checking your drivers, or directly from the Lenovo support site. Links are in the description. With integer scaling enabled, you can just go ahead and disable FSR and let the game run internally at 800p. If you need a performance boost, you can scale the resolution to 70 to 80%. But not all games offer resolution scaling. In this case, you can give FSR in quality mode a try and see how that looks. The sleep function has pretty much been a hit or miss on Windows systems. Besides, it is working maybe 60% of the time. My device would also quite often randomly wake up. Just recently, AMD released a chipset update that finally fixed the sleep mode. Let's go ahead and install it and then do something about the system randomly waking up. You'll find the driver on the AMD website. The link is in the description. Once downloaded, go ahead and install it. The installation may take a while. Once installed, go ahead and restart. Next, we'll go to the control panel, then select system and security and look for the power options. Click on change plan settings, then change advanced power settings. Make sure that all functions under allow wake timers are disabled, then hit apply. We want to make sure that pressing the power button will actually put the device to sleep. Click on choose what the power button does. Make sure that when I press the power button is set to sleep. You also want to remove the check besides turn on fast startup. Last step. Let's search for the device manager. Then under universal serial bus controllers, look for both USB 4 root router entries. Double click on the first one. Look for the power management tab and make sure to remove the check besides allow this device to wake the computer. Repeat the steps for the other USB 4 root router entry. The device should now no longer randomly wake up. At least this worked for me. Plugging in the power cable will wake up the device. So if you want to charge your Legion Go while in sleep modus, plug the charger in before you put the device to sleep. But now let me show you how to get a more console-like experience out of your Legion Go. My Legion Go directly boots into Steam. You can do this of course with any other launcher, but in my case I have all my games on Steam, so it makes more sense to stick with it. But you could of course use Play Night if you have games on different launchers. Accessing the Windows part is easy. Open Quick Settings, then the File Manager. Swipe up for your browser, Windows settings, or anything else you need.
reboot or return to the Steam task when done. To achieve this, you'll need to make changes to the Windows registry. If you're not confident in making changes to your system, it would be best if you leave it be. Create a backup file and navigate to HKEY CURRENT USER SOFTWARE MICROSOFT Windows NT CURRENT VERSION then win logon. Create a new string value named shell and paste the Steam path into it. Disable Steam's open at startup option and make sure open in big picture mode is enabled. Restart your device and you're good to go. Take note that if you will exit big picture mode, the desktop will be completely blank. You will have to open the quick settings menu and run the file manager to load your window shell. You might ask how I was able to change my Steam theme. If you want to know how to do this, leave a comment below and I'll cover it in another video. The Legion Go really is a great device. And if you are looking for a way to have a more console-like experience, then I hope that this video was helpful. And that is it. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. I will see you next time.